Spot 5. It says this, 2 Corinthians 5. For we must all stand before Christ to be judged. This scripture haunts me. We will each receive whatever we deserve for the good or the evil we have done in this earthly body. We must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. That day is coming. And everything will be exposed. That's why we fast 21 days every year. Pray. That's why we give. That's why we bless this and do that. that keep that verse up a minute. Because that thing right there haunts me. We must all. Nobody's going to stand there with you. Mama and Daddy, it'll be you and God. And he said, you're going to... The King James says, we will give an account for the things done in our body. What are we doing with our body? What are we doing physically to make a difference? You know that the book of Revelation starts in the first verse of Revelation 1 and 1. The angel said, I'm here to tell you things that must come to pass. And it ends in the last chapter with an, the angel comes and says, I'm here to tell you what must shortly come to pass. It starts with a must. It ends with a must. I guess what I'm trying to say is the book of Revelation is a book that absolutely says not he might, not he, he we wish he would. He must come back again. He must. And he said it must happen shortly. That means this is an urgency to it. I must stand before the judgment seat of Christ. I must be born again. When you stand before the Lord, you know what? The Bible said in another place that the book will be open and whoever's name is not written in the Lamb's book of life will be cast out of the throne room into the lake of fire. Is your name in that book? I must have my name, Jensen Franklin, in that book. I must have my wife's name in that book. Sharice Franklin must be in that book. Courtney and Carissa and Caroline and Connor and Drake and their and and, and Tyler and 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 uh, Aaron and 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 my grandbabies, Amelia and Elliot and man, this gets long, doesn't it? Elliot and and Vivian and Jamie. And Luca, Leo, I, that's my I must. And when I look at you, I want to throw my arms around every one of you. Say, because you're sitting under me, I'm going to stand before the judgment throne of God if I don't tell you the truth. It's a scary stuff. He's a consuming fire. I don't want any of you to perish. I don't want any of you to be cast into outer darkness. You must be born again. You must stand before the throne of God. Every one of you need to get a burden for souls. I wish every one of us would take on as an I must. I must win one soul before 2024 goes out. I must personally, personally, I must win one person so that when I stand before that judgment throne, I will not be ashamed. Stand to your feet all over this room. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I haven't forgotten about the children, but the Holy Ghost has taken over this service. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Pastor Jensen, I can't bring you down this morning like we normally do. 
but I can pray for you right where you're standing at all of our campuses in overflow wherever you are we'll let everybody get still and quiet because this is serious serious stuff are you born again do you know your sins are forgiven do you have Christ living in you the hope of glory pray for me Pastor Jensen I need that assurance pray for me if that's you raise your hand as high as you can get it if you want to know you're born again I want to see your hand more importantly God will see every hand that's raised in this holy holy moment there's so many hands amazing raise them high and unashamed unashamed out loud everybody in this room and everybody at every campus pray right now Lord Jesus I mean this I want you to take over my life I surrender all to you. I give you my life. I want to know who I am. Who you intended me to be. I want to be the person that you want me to be. And then I want it, I must. I must serve you. I must obey you. I must love you with all of my heart. So come into my life. I invite you in right here. Write my name in blood in the book of life. You bought me with your blood, Jesus. And I receive you. I believe in you. And by faith, you're my Savior. I am. And I thank you that I must. In Jesus' name, amen.